Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So now I'm just gonna film two videos before I go to the US because I'm leaving tomorrow and today is um, actually Sunday. This is the uh, Partners in Cream project pan and I have progress but I don't have the progress that I wanted to have for this update because cream products, oh my goodness, they are insane to finish. This project pan is a collab with a lot of YouTubers and you can go and check them out. I'm gonna leave the playlist link below, right here in the description box if you wanna see it. And it's just a beautiful community. We have an Instagram group where we chat with each other and it's just amazing to see how the project pan community is so united and so, so perfect. So perfect without any hate and it's just positive and it's, it's refreshing for the YouTube that we see nowadays in the beauty community. So if you want to see my update in the Partners in Cream Project Pan collab, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm using a different lens because I couldn't find the lens that I always use for my videos. So I hope it's okay and I hope the sound is okay. But let's just go and see the products. This is one that I've made great progress and you can see it right here. This was the only one that already had pan in it but I expanded the pan. This is the Estilla Blush in Peony. And you can see that the pan has been expanded and I truly, really, really like this blush. You know, I, I have tried other cream blushes and this is one of those blushes that I would definitely buy different shades of nudes. And it's one that it's sheer enough if you want it to be, but it gives you sort of the glow of a healthy skin. And the color Peony, it's amazing. I know they have they have other nudes and I love this formula. And I found out about it, this was a point perk, but I found out about this formula and wanted to try it even more because Lisa Eldridge talks about it a lot. So she never fails. Every recommendation that I've had from her, has been amazing. So this is the first product and this is the progress. And I'm thinking that this is one of those products in this project pan that I'll be able to finish for sure during this year and maybe replace with another cream product. But cream products, guys, are hard to finish, really hard to finish. The second one, and these I've been using almost every single day. This is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. And I have here, so yeah, I've made progress because I have here the little mark and now we have um, another mark. I'm gonna put it right here. But I think this is gonna be over before I can mark it again. And I think it can be over before the next update as well. So you can see the tally mark right there. And this is also a beautiful product. This is basically, this one on WhatsApp by Benefit are my favorite highlighters, cream highlighters of all time. But I don't think I will repurchase because I have WhatsApp in a small size and then the full size that's brand new. And I have other cream highlighters that I need to go through and I prefer to stick with WhatsApp all the way. Maybe at some point in my life after I finish a lot of my products, I will go back to this one because the formula is amazing and it works beautifully as well. If you have dry skin and you wanna use it as a glowy base or mix it with your foundation, it works well for that. It doesn't work that way for me because I have an oily T-zone and live in the most humid weather of all time. So I can't, I can't do that. I, I would use it for filming, but that would be wasteful because I use the makeup the makeup that I have right now, I was wearing it all day. So I don't do makeup just for filming. I do makeup because I'm gonna use it throughout the day. I never waste product. So this is basically a product that I think, I would think about repurchasing it, but it's not a need in my collection. Even though I love glowy products, I prefer powder glowy products because of my skin type. And I love What's Up because it's a cream to powder product. So I like this, I truly do. It's top two within my highlighters, cream highlighters, liquid highlighters, but I don't think I would repurchase, but I would highly recommend it if you are into this type of products. It is amazing. This one I've used twice or yeah, twice since I put it on this project pan. This I know I will finish. It's just that I don't know why I don't reach for it more. Maybe I will use it tomorrow for uh, my makeup for when I'm gonna travel. You can't see the progress in this one. You will see it 
um, later, but there's no way to mark it. If I mark it right here, it doesn't go down uniformly. It just goes down the way it wants to go down and then you, you will see that it starts sticking to the sides and you will see batches, sort of a, like a liquid lipstick. But this is a beautiful product. I love the color. I wish they would come up with this color with a sheen, but not a, not a glitter, but a sheen to it, sort of like a liquid eyeshadow, but not a matte one. But I truly love this shade. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I I pulled it out. If you already no, you will see that in the future. I filmed a video about products that I was gonna take with me on this trip. And then I'm gonna show you an update for that video because I removed almost all, all of the things because I didn't wanna take a big bag. I wanted to take a smaller bag. And this one was in there and I think I'm gonna take this in my purse, like a to-go type of eyeshadow. So yeah, this is a nice one. It's just that I've been into panning my shadows in the Panda Palette project. So yeah, this has basically no progress. I, I didn't use it that much this month but I know I will use it eventually. Okay, I have another product right here. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Golden Radiance in number two. I will have to say that I made progress on this one. I'm gonna mark it. But this is a product that I wouldn't recommend because it's just starting to separate and I use it on my legs and on my shoulders. And this is supposed to be a primer, but like I said, I never use radiant primers because I don't need them in my life and they make my foundation look worse and last less. So that's not the type of product that I wanna use, but you can see it right here, the progress I've made. And it's progress and I know I will be able to finish this, but I do not enjoy it. I don't enjoy using this product and it's a Burberry product. Burberry sent it to me um, I think it was through Influencer, and it's just not a product that I will enjoy. I would enjoy if I got sent or if I could purchase the contour by Burberry because that would be an amazing product just to put in my purse and travel with it. That would be amazing. But this one is a big bottle. I don't like that it's starting to separate, that I have to mix it so often. I don't like the finish of it because it's not that glowy but I don't like the finish of it not being that glowy because it's not a mattifying pore refining primer either. And then it will make my foundation look oily without the glowiness. So it doesn't really do what it needs to be done either way. So it's just not a favorite product and I wouldn't recommend it. I will try and finish it. And I know I could finish it because if you if I start mixing it with my um, lotion, but my body lotion, it will give me a hint of color and whatever. So I will use it that way and I will put it on my shoulders and whatnot, but it's not a favorite product, it's not. It's definitely not. Then this is the only product that I said, I think that I was sure that I was gonna finish this year. And this is the product that I think that I will finish the least. And it's not because I don't use it. This is the NARS uh, multiple in the shade Cappadoce, and this is a matte multiple. So you can see it right here, it was brand new. This was one of my panic purchases before my no buy year. So it's basically a year old and a few months, and it was brand new, completely new, and I've been putting a drop of, let me show you. And I've been putting a drop of the makeup blend, I have this in another project pan, and one drop of this will make this so buttery and beautiful on my skin, but at the same time, I need less product to blend it on my skin since this doesn't remove the pigmentation of the product, but makes it more blendable. So I, I don't think I'll finish this in a while because you can see the amount of product that it has. It's not like it's a crazy amount, but I don't go swiping this on my cheeks. I will just put two drops of it, grab it with my finger, tap it on, and then use a beauty blender or a brush to blend that in. And the finish is nice. I think I would use it more if I had more of a tan, but I'm just this light right now and I'm not gonna be tanning, I don't think, anytime soon. And maybe I will tan on my trip with a fake tan, of course, because I never tan, but 
I'm not gonna take this with me on my trip. I will take other products because I don't wanna carry extra. So I don't know, I don't know. It's just a product that I don't know when I'm gonna finish it. If I finish it this year, that would be a freaking miracle because it comes with a lot of products and it's darker than what I need it to be. So I need to use less of it, but it is what it is and these is the these three are the ones that I've been using the most. I use them almost every day, at least four or five times a week. These I use twice and these I use like the first two weeks and then I stop using it. I think I'll eventually finish all of them, but the one that I thought that I was gonna finish for sure because it's a bronzer is this one. I'm, I'm not that sure anymore. So yeah, you guys, that's everything for this update like i said go check out everyone's video i'm gonna leave the playlist link below and let's just do an emoji that resembles peony just for the stila blush anything that tells you or that talks to you about peony as a shade as a flower as anything just leave something below i always enjoy your emojis and that's it you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And that's it, I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.